Uh, hello, thanks for joining us today in this presentation uh, where we're going to be talking about uh, statistical analysis in uh, manufacturing, how you can use statistical analysis to help your manufacturing process. Uh, you can't manage what you don't measure. We recently launched in the market a new product called the TrueView XI, which is an automated X-ray inspection system. And um, with that system, we got uh, you know, a few questions on uh, what, it, what, what does it mean to be an XI system? Well, an XI system not only produces you know, beautiful uh, X-ray images, but also produces very important statistical data uh, that can be critical in uh, diagnosing and debugging uh, your uh, SMT manufacturing process. Now, if you look at an SMT process, you know, where are defects introduced? Uh, defects can be introduced uh, at the solder paste uh, application. Uh, it can also be introduced during component placement, brief flow oven, and uh, most manufacturing processes, right? Your line has uh, some type of test that's going to decide if the process is pass or fail. Uh, if it passes, it goes to uh, your customer. And if it's fail, it goes back to some type of rework and then rework boards are uh, retested. So what we're trying to do here is to, um, uh, we're gonna show today how this X-ray system can collect data so that uh, this test process uh, can actually forecast when you're gonna have problems and stop product from being shipped to the customer uh, uh, you know, that it has a high probability of being uh, or failing in the field. So let's, let's, um, let's see how we do that. The, uh, when we talk about statistical data, let's bring that from this more um, 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 theoretical concept to the to a very practical example. Let's build this from the ground up so that later on we're talking about uh, you know, mean invariance and histograms, uh, you understand exactly what we're talking about. So the histogram is a very powerful tool that allows us to look at, quickly look at data and see what's going on. Now, this is how we build a histogram from our uh, X-ray data. Let's start with this example. Uh, let's look at, uh, let's say the metric that we're trying to analyze here is voiding on this ball grid array. So uh, we're gonna measure the void, and this is all done automatically. Uh, we're gonna measure the void on this first ball. We got 20%. So we're gonna go ahead and populate 20%, uh, we get one occurrence. In the histogram, the, uh, the horizontal axis gives you the metric, in this case, voiding on the BGA. The vertical axis presents the frequency of occurrence. So we go ahead and we measure the voiding on the second uh, ball. We get, in this case, 10%. So we go ahead and populate one occurrence of 10%. Uh, the third ball, it shows a uh, uh, voiding of 20% uh, again, so that we now say that 20% has two occurrences, the first ball and the third ball. And we take that concept and we keep doing it over and over again, so that we end up with a histogram populated like this one. And like, you know, following the law of large numbers, if you collect enough data, eventually end up with something that looks like a Gaussian. So you're gonna see that most of our, uh, that our uh, statistical data we're gonna show you in, this, in the following examples uh, are gonna look like this. Now, the two, uh, you know, these examples that we show on voiding, uh, you know, it's BJ voiding is an important uh, metric, but these are some of the other metrics that uh, we use all the time. Uh, opens, right, if you opens in this example here on the QFN, uh, you can get the machine to automatically inspect for, uh, you know, lack of solder, uh, for shorts, or voids, uh, when you have too much voiding, LEDs and power electronics. So those, you know, voiding, shorts and opens, uh, if you think about it, they cover uh, most uh, of uh, SMT problems out there. And for each one of these, you can generate a set of statistical uh, data uh, to satisfy diagnosing uh, your process. So let's go, let's, uh, let's look at the two parameters of interest uh, when we're looking at, uh, when we talk about statistical analysis of your manufacturing process. The first one is mean. That's also called the average or expected value, which is fairly intuitive to most of us. You know, it's the sum 
of the values divided by the number of values. Here's the equation. So it's the average uh, that we talk about all the time, the average temperature. Uh, variance, on the other hand, is not as intuitive, although if you think of it as how much your process varies, then it has a very intuitive explanation for us. And here's the formula for the variance. So, now let's take these mathematical concepts and tie them to our manufacturing process. That's what you're interested in, right? Uh, mean is going to give you the average of the process performance. So, how well your SMT line is performant, uh, performing on average, right? Variance, on the other hand, is a very powerful uh, parameter because it's telling you how consistent your process performance is. So not only that you are doing well, but that you do well most of the time. Uh, and looking at that uh, Gaussian we showed earlier, the mean is going to be that center line. So it's going to be that value. So this Gaussian is going to be centered around the mean. And the variance is how wide this variance is, or how fat that Gaussian is. The skinnier it is, you know, the more uh, consistent your process is, because most of the occurrences uh, are centered around, closely centered around the mean. The more sloppy your process is, the wider this uh, wave is, uh, the waveform is going to be. As, as a result, the sloppier, you know, the farther from the mean uh, results uh, occur uh, from your uh, manufacturing line. So, nothing better to put this, um, you know, in, uh, in concrete uh, terms than uh, an example. Uh, let's take this example. These are real examples from customers. Uh, the first one, uh, this customer is using uh, as a metric, uh, QFN opens and shorts, right? And um, they saw that uh, in day one, uh, they had this nice um, performance, you know, uh, very low mean, meaning that few opens and shorts and a pretty tight process there. But as the week went by, you know, by Friday, they realized that that performance was walking away from the mean. Meaning that even though the uh, process consistency was about the same in day one, three, and five, uh, they noticed that the mean was just walking away and they were able to tie this back to a defective stencil. So this is how powerful this is. You know, by looking at, by collecting the data and analyzing the data, and this doesn't take a lot of time because the machine collects all this data for you and presents reports, right? So this is super powerful because they were able to catch a problem before it actually became a major problem. Now, even though you, you might think that, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll figure this out during test and I'll just stop it there. Well, this is one example that shows you if, that if you try to stop a test, you know, at the last stage in your manufacturing process, it might be too late because even though you caught, in day, you caught the problem in day seven, let's say, by day three, you're already shipping sub, subpar product, right? So who should say that, you know, in day three, you're passing this product in testing, but you're going to fail later in the field? And that's why this, uh, you know, that's why it's so important to understand the performance of your process so that you can understand when you're varying from it. Here's another example, uh, LED voiding. That's the uh, uh, metric that the customer is using. They make LED panels, so um, you know, it's very intuitive to use LED voiding as their key metric of performance. But 8 a.m., they had you know, this much voiding, that's the average there, and a pretty tight process. And then that's what uh, SMT line was producing by uh, around 1 p.m. And by 8 p.m., look how wide this Gaussian got. So that's an example where, you know, in a 12-hour shift, the consistency of this process greatly degraded 
And so you're producing good product in the morning, and by the next shift at night, you're producing subpar product again. And they, interesting enough, they saw that, they saw the same uh, uh, phenomenon happening day in, day out. And they were able to tie down to solder paste storage conditions. So guess what? They would open a fresh batch in the morning and leave it unattended, just collecting, um, you know, just uh, exposed to air throughout the day. So by night, that shift was using um, a solder paste that was much thicker, much harder to spread, and that was creating a lot of voids. So I hope with this presentation we're able to convince you that you cannot manage what you don't measure. Metrics are critical to manage a manufacturing process. Actually, there's no way that you can reliably run a manufacturing line if you're not collecting uh, the necessary and relevant metrics in your process. And depending on the process, those metrics can change from pad voiding, under few voiding, shorts, opens, or all of the above. You need to collect the data, and not only collect the data, you also have to analyze and keep on top of it. So over time, you can manage, you know, you can properly manage if your process is deviating from this uh, performance uh, that you set or not. Spot checks are very popular. You know, this is when, uh, you know, once a week, you grab a board from the, uh, from the, from the, uh, from the line and you uh, x-ray it, you do some measurements and say, yeah, everything is fine. But those uh, spot checks are really not uh, appropriate if you're trying to find uh, longer term deviations. Uh, you know, like we saw, uh, the, the, some deviations happen over days, some deviations happen over hours. So you need to really collect data and understand how your process works to be able to manage it properly. And we also gave you the two key statistical parameters that you can use uh, uh, to accomplish that. Uh, mean and variance, uh, they're very simple, they're not complicated to measure, not complicated uh, to uh, collect because machines like the TrueView XI will do that for you automatically. And they tell you not only how your process perform, but they can also tell how your business is performing, right? Because uh, failure in the field and other uh, failures in the field uh, are uh, going to result in RMAs that will deeply impact uh, your bottom line. For more information, please contact us at 760-752-1192 or find us online at creativeelectron.com. Thanks. Quite what you want.